Queen craft activity, we are going to be making bracelets out of safety pins and beads. All right, so here are the supplies you're going to need. If you were able to come into the library and pick up a craft kit, you will find in there some beads, about 50 safety pins, and then two pieces of elastic string. If you were not able to get the kit, then all you're going to need to get is about 50 safety pins, some string, preferably elastic, and then some beads of various sizes. Just make sure that your beads are going to fit onto the point of your safety pin. The other supplies you're going to need is maybe a pair of scissors to cut your string, and then you're going to need some needle nose pliers. And I happen to have the jewelry kind here, but you can use regular needle nose pliers or anything that's going to be strong that will allow you to pinch the tip of the safety pin to make sure it stays closed. And we'll get to that later. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is to decorate your safety pin. So all you're going to do is take the color beads that you're interested in using and you can create a pattern or you can just do kind of random like I'm going to do. And you're just going to put about three beads onto your safety pin and close it. Then you're going to take your needle nose pliers or whatever it is you're using to close and you're going to pinch it tight so that it doesn't pop open on you. And then you're just going to keep doing this until you've gotten all the beads that you want on your safety pins. Depending on the size bracelet, you're going to need 50 or possibly less. Or if you want a larger size bracelet or you're going to make a whole necklace, then you're going to need a lot more. Okay, so now we're going to string our safety pins. So first we're going to start off with just pick one safety pin and you're going to put it, the string through the little hole at the top of or at the bottom of your safety pin. Then if you want to tape this down so they don't fall off the bottom, you can or just be careful that you don't string it all the way through. Then you're going to take your next safety pin and you're going to string it to the top this time. So the hole at the top and hopefully you didn't close it up when you pinched it too much. Now. Be careful, before you string that one, I want you to look at what side your beads are on. And I want you to flip the next one, so even though you're stringing it from the other side, I also want the beads to be on the opposite side. So let's see if I did that right. I'm gonna string them together, and I did. If you can see here that I have one has the empty part of the safety pin facing up and then the other one has the bead part facing up and we're going to alternate it. So not only are you alternating which side is getting strung, the top or the bottom, you are also alternating which bead side is showing so that they fit together nicely and just just tuck in to one another all right so first you're going to string one whole side or if you're feeling like you can handle two strings you can always string the other one at the same time all right so here i have some of my pattern going and what i figured out is i decided to tape mine down it does work better and then now I have my pattern going. So when I string through the easy hole at the bottom of the safety pin, I put, make sure that I put those beads down. And when I bead through the top part of the safety pin, I make sure I put those beads up. So here I have my beads up and then on the other side. And I concentrate on one side and then I bead the other side or string the other side. And then I slide it in so that I have an alternating. The first one, the beads are down, second one, beads are up. Beads are down and then up and then down and then up. So they kind of tuck into one another nicely. And then I have, of course, also a alternated beading first through the bottom and then through the top. Okay, so now I have all of my safety pins on my string and I'm going to tie it. So I untape just a little bit. I'm going to tape one side first and hope my other side doesn't come undone. 
and I'm gonna double knot it. I'm gonna keep it kind of loose so that it has room to move. Maybe triple knotting, just in case. And then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm going to tie that together. Now I can either uh, cut my string here or I can also try to weave it back through and I might try to weave it back through just once or twice. I want to weave it right back to where it was coming through a little bit and then I will trim off the extra. And then move the beads around so they're nice and evenly spread out. And then I have a lovely bracelet.